previously on Corn Fed Zombies. Suppose we could talk to Tony. Who's Tony? He took everything. He came back. Took all my shit. It's your fault. My brother's dead right now. Where are they? Shut it down. Everybody out. What's going on here? We have orders to take all surviving civilians and all supplies to the FEMA camp. FEMA? No way. Sophie, get back in the car. Hey! Hey, put her down! Stop resisting or we'll use force. Put her down! Oh, please! I got a call. We got to get the fuck out of here. You heard her, guys. Let's go. Come on, come on, we gotta get out of here. Get in. Okay, you guys sit tight. I'm gonna go inside and make sure this place is clear. Sophie, I'm scared. I know, honey. It'll be okay. We'll stay here tonight and find something to eat tomorrow. I miss my dad. If you ever need anyone to talk to, honey, I'm here. It's clear. Come on. Okay, now you guys saw the real estate sign. This house is gonna be empty. We'll be safe here tonight. Do you think there's any food inside the kitchen cupboards? I don't think so, kid. But you can check, okay? Maybe one of the other houses will have something. I found a lighter and a candle. Look what I found upstairs. Do you know how to play, Uncle Hal? I might remember a lick or two, but I better play quietly. I've looked through every house this side of town. There's nothing but GMO out there. Surely there's got to be something here. If there is, I haven't found it. Every single house has been gone through. The cupboards have been ransacked. I don't know what we're gonna do. What? Well, before I left the Outlander group, they were talking about a small group of them going to a nearby town, and since there's nothing here, this 
might have been where they went. You know, that's just great. Now what are we supposed to do? We don't even have enough fuel to get out of here. Does that mean we can't eat today? Not now, Alex. Don't yell at her. And don't blame me. It's not my fault I didn't know where the Outlanders were going. It's not like I was in charge of anything. You're right, okay? I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I don't know what we're gonna do. We don't have any food. We don't have any water. We barely have any fuel left. We don't even have any weapons to defend ourselves. If we go out there, we're gonna get stranded in a horde of these things. If you guys have any ideas, I'm all ears. We could probably use the GMO food for a little while until we find better food. I would rather die as a human with some dignity than to take a chance at becoming one of those things out there. Maybe someone will come to town later and help us. <laughs> Wishful thinking. But I don't suppose it's like we have so many other options right now. Can I talk to you in the other room for a minute? Look, I know it's not looking really optimistic right now. But you have to hold on and be strong for Alex. I mean, let's face it, we could die by the end of this week. Would you rather have Alex spend her last few days with sadness and depression? Or would you rather be happy and hopeful that maybe we have a chance? You need to be strong for her. I'm sorry. I just... I'm gonna go for a walk, clear my head. I'm gonna look the other houses and see if I can't find anything. Uh, Stay here, Kill. There's nothing left. I searched the rest of the houses and there's nothing left. I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, we'll leave tomorrow. And what if we run out of fuel? What if we run out of fuel and run into a crowd of those biters out there? Our only other option is to stay here and die. I would rather go out and have a fighting chance. At least we stand a chance if we leave. Do we? Do we really? Of course! Is that even a question? The real question that we should be asking is how would we rather die? Like you said, would we rather live the remainder of our lives happy and together or scared and bitten to death? That's not what I said. I'd just rather go out having a fighting chance. I don't want to stay here and die. Uncle How, did you bring anything to eat? No, Goober. Just go back to sleep, okay? This is the last night we're gonna be staying here. We could die by the end of this week. Would 
you rather have Alex spend her last few days with sadness and depression? Or would you rather be happy and hopeful that maybe we have a chance? The real question that we should be asking is how would we rather die? Like you said, would we rather live the remainder of our lives happy and together or scared and bitten to death? Can't you see it in my eyes? I love you so bad, it hurts. And I only want to see you smile. Never gonna call you no baby. The only sound. Pal, wake up. Transmitted from Camp wake up, pal. Winnipeg, Canada. Wake up! What is it, Google? Look, listen. We have established a safe zone for any seeking refuge. With the freezing weather, it has slowed down these modified mutants. They are now manageable.